five most heavily guarded billionaires in the world. From kidnappings to attempted assassinations, personal protective officers, better known as bodyguards, are seen as the preserve of royalty, celebrities, and political figures alike. But as the number of high net worth individuals continues to grow, bodyguards are now in demand for an increasing and diverse range of clients. But just what makes a person worth protecting, you might ask? You are about to find out. Today, we look at the five most heavily guarded billionaires in the world. Let's get it on. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Number 5. Queen Elizabeth II The Queen's security forces are impressive, yet something of a mixed bag. The most visible and famous line of her defense, the iconic tall-hatted Queen's Guard are most known for their elaborate marching spectacles and unflinching poker face during guard duty, but they are actually very far from the joke some tourists take them as and are perfectly able to mess you up if you overstep. Then there is the security personnel that guards the Buckingham Palace at all hours, who are more conventional than the Queen's Guard and their toy uniforms, but have been known to nearly shoot the Queen on one of her late-night strolls. However, when you really, really need to keep your majesty safe, you go to the Royal Protection Squad. This elite Scotland Yard squad was formed in 1983 and reportedly consists of up to 185 SAS trained officers with various degrees of James Bondness. The RPS is responsible for providing around the clock security for the Queen, along with the rest of the royal family and London's diplomats. Number 4. Jeff Bezos There is a whole new thread of problems that arise when you enter into the world of rich and famous, one being safety and security. That would mean that the world world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, probably has to take some precautions to ensure his own safety, right? Jeff Bezos has bodyguards. Not only has he invested in the personal protection of his own personal bodyguards, but he also had to invest in other extensive security measures. With the fortune he has amassed, Bezos has had to ensure the security of his family, friends, and close colleagues from any threats. Bezos has a net worth that sits somewhere around $200 billion, and with that much money, a lot of safety concerns arise. Those safety concerns are not just for himself, but for family, friends, and close colleagues. People like kidnappers could target Bezos to try and hold him or his family for ransom. There is also the inevitable hate that other people may have towards Bezos. Some of that hate has been from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Bezos came under the fire of the Saudis after his newspaper, The Washington Post, published incriminating stories surrounding the death of Jamal Khashoggi. Although Bezos does not have a hand in what the Washington Washington Post publishes, that did not stop the Saudis from attacking him. Gavin De Becker, Bezos's chief of security, found that the Saudis were responsible for hacking Jeff Bezos's phone and sending private information to the National Enquirer. Being under the attack of an entire nation definitely means Bezos needs some backup. Bezos uses Gavin De Becker's company, Gavin De Becker & Associates, for his own personal security. He has a deep trust in the security that De Becker provides. Bezos even went so far as to write De Becker a blank check in order to discover who was behind the cell being hacked. In 2016, when Bezos had a cameo in the movie Star Trek Beyond, the world received a small amount of insight into his security measures. Actor Chris Pine, one of the stars of the movie, recalled to Vanity Fair that Bezos showed up with nine bodyguards and three limos. It was really intense, he recalls. According to the most recent reports, Bezos spends around $1.6 million a year on personal security. Whether it be hiring a personal entourage of bodyguards or installing bulletproof glass to his office, Bezos does need to ensure his own safety. As the richest man in the world, taking risks in the realm of security is not an option. Number 3. El Chapo Guzman There are so many well-known names behind the prison walls, and yet, with all of that notoriety, no other prisoner is more heavily protected than Mr. Joaquin Guzman, the Sinaloa cartel drug lord whom the world knows as El Chapo. El Chapo has been a arrested several times and has always managed to escape his confinement. But ever since he was rearrested in 2016 and extradited to the United States, he now resides in 10 South Prison in Manhattan, New York. The drug lord is under watch 24 hours a day by armed guards who also have armed guards watching over them. 
He has to sleep in a different cell each night, and the dogs who help guard him also have to taste his food in case of poisonings. Mr. Guzman has even complained about his conditions in the 10 South prisons, such as being locked in his cell for 23 hours a day. Except for his lawyer and court visits, he has been denied any outside contact with his family and the media. He certainly has become an advocate for prison reform. But should this serial prison escapee who was accused of killing thousands during Mexico's bloody drug wars and has a proven history of killing his enemies even while under lock and key escape again, his heavy security will face the wrath of his victims. Number 2. Mark Zuckerberg Nothing about Facebook is a secret anymore, including CEO Mark Zuckerberg's personal security budget. Since 2015, Mark Zuckerberg has spent around $20 million annually on security, with $7.3 million going toward his own personal bodyguards for his home and his travels. These bodyguards are sometimes called a Zuckerberg secret police. Police. Some rumors suggest the detail is made up of 16 full-time guards that work in shifts at all times. This amount of money in total is considered to be a record for security costs for any CEO of a large corporation. To compare over a decade ago, it was tech executive Larry Ellison for Oracle that had the most security expenses reported at $1.8 million. With the company that is constantly under fire for accumulating massive amounts of personal data from its users and selling that information to the highest bidder, Zuckerberg seems to prefer to keep his own personal life a better kept secret. In the past year, Facebook spent more than $23 million to provide security for its CEO. Under Mr. Zuckerberg's overall security program, we pay for costs related to personal security for Mr. Zuckerberg at his residences and during personal travel, including the annual costs of security personnel for his protection and the procurement, installation, and maintenance of certain security measures for his residences the company said. Mark Zuckerberg's close protection officers go the extra step to don civilian clothes to stay hidden. He is also escorted everywhere in public and private and driven everywhere he goes. Facebook's chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg, also has a constant security protection program similar to Zuckerberg's. This exemplifies the gravity of Facebook executives' protection. 1. Vladimir Putin Like other political figures in Russia, Vladimir Putin is protected by the Federal Protective Service. However, Putin's people seem to be an entirely different bundle altogether. Little is known about the workings of Putin's arm in the Federal Protective Service. There is no public data about its operations, and there are no publicly available reports. It's so secretive that only assumptions can be made about what they do. Vladimir himself is a controversial figure that has been at the center of media attention since his first acting presidency. It was noted that the man had started growing a sort of personality cult around him, similar to some previous leaders. Although there aren't any giant statues of him being put up, he has become an internet icon in his own right, which has kept him within the realm of the public, often something that doesn't come without its prices. Of course, the populist view of this leader is extremely polarized due to the political and financial corruption of his cabinet, which has resulted resulted in countless protests, threats, and assassination attempts that's made it necessary for Putin to ramp up security in his own unique way. Former bodyguards for Russian President Vladimir Putin have gained immense power in exchange for their unquestioned loyalty. Many have also accumulated vast wealth, exemplifying how Russia's new ascendant class has exploited a system meant to protect the old. The Presidential Security Service SBP, is a federal government agency concerned with the tasks related to the protection of the President of Russia and the Prime Minister of Russia with their respective families and residences. It traces its origin to the USSR's ninth chief directorate of the KGB, and in the beginning it was led by KGB General Alexander Korsakov. SPB has roughly 2,000 to 3,000 non-uniform personnel. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out more videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.